Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got uh, Gunslinger Hell on Earth Kakiri Forest. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the Hell on Earth going for a little while here. Um, I figure why not, right? Why not? Um, maybe, maybe I can just get good, right? Which is, uh, which was my strategy before and it didn't work, so... I mean, who knows how well it'll work this time. But, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try anyway. And, uh, see how, see how it goes. Because I, I feel like if I just make a couple of changes to, uh, to habits and bad habits, get rid of them, you know, then I think that, uh, I might even be able to make it out, uh, honestly pretty fine. And as soon as I get used to, like, the, the speed and everything of the monsters, the Zeds, you know, I'll be able to kind of make my way through this a little bit, a uh, little bit easier. Once I'm, uh, once I'm, uh, accustomed to the, uh, the increased difficulty, it'll be a little bit easier for me to handle it. Because, uh, right now I've got such a muscle memory for the, the suicidal stuff, right? That, uh, the speed of them and how long I have to, like, scratch my nose and how often I have to turn around and, you know, all that kind of stuff. All that muscle memory, it's all, uh, messed up because of, uh, the increased difficulty, but we, uh, will get there. I got, man, my nose is super itchy right now. It's like, hold up. It's like not the inside of my nose, it's the outside of my nose. I don't know why. It feels like a, a bunch of little tiny... Militant ants are running around my nose. Like microscopic, you know? When in reality it's probably just like a hair that got out of uh, uh out of my little uh hair tie thing with my uh my, my glasses and my headphones. Anyway. I'll get I'll get used to hell on earth. It'll be fine. I'm recording this one. I've uh, changed the uh, the recording times for this again. So this is uh 12:30. It's just after I finished recording the uh, the last Yamajack tries, uploaded it, and made the thumbnail and all that. Um, which was uh, well, we'll get to that. Um, and uh, I'm recording it now so that it's just done with sooner. I don't have to worry about it when I come back down after lunch. I'm uh, it's just it's done. We're we're done with it, right? Which uh, hopefully is is nicer. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Um, I'm in the recording mood. I've got uh, I've got the recording going. I don't have to like. I mean, if I go eat and then come back and record it, then my mouth is all, my throat's all like gummed up from from eating food just like immediately, and I have to take like a 10 minute, 20 minute break to give me a moment to relax, you know. And uh, I don't have to do that now because I'm uh, recording it immediately. Okay, we can't one shot them. I don't have to do that, so I uh, I figure, hey. Maybe it'll be better. Um, however, the, uh, the the Ammo Jack tries I just did was the metal unit one, and oh my god, that's so much different than I was expecting. I was expecting some some fan servicey bits in it because the uh, the marketing for it had a little bit of fan service in it, but like it went it went hard on the fan service. It was very very disturbing to me. Um, I played it anyway because I, I uh, gotta get gotta get the content out, you know. I can't just not. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, that one's not on Hell on Earth's fault. That's that's my fault. I let myself get surrounded by uh, gore fasts and gore fiends, and then just kind of stood there instead of like doing what I should have done, which is uh, turn around. That's that's my fault. That's not because of the uh, the increased difficulty at all. That could have happened in suicidal just as well. Um. God, my nose is super itchy. <laughs> ah. So, uh, yeah, it was it was a disturbing game. the The gameplay was super fun, but it was just uh, it was, it was a lot more boobs and butts than I than I was uh, I was I, I thought I signed up for. <laughs> a lot more boobs and butts than I thought I signed up for. Who is this mysterious? So it was uh, it was it was definitely disconcerting, disconcerting. Not uh, not what I wanted. But, you know, you gotta... I only, have, I only have a limited amount of money and a limited amount of games to play, so uh, I'll, I'll play anything. I, uh, I'm not gonna like everything, though. And that was definitely one that I did not like. Maybe maybe if I was skipping all the cutscenes, it would have been actually, like, a genuinely enjoyable game, but... Like, if I'm gonna skip the cutscenes, I have... There's... there's it was... Uh, the gameplay was good, but... Um, if you're gonna skip cutscenes in a game, like just go play a game that doesn't have cutscenes. Like just go play Dead Cells, you know. It's uh, it's a better gameplay loop than um, than that for sure. 
and unless you take into account the story. But I didn't quite like the story, so not a selling point for me. But uh, it was a it was the first time I played a, a Yamajack tries, where I was uh, I was actually like, man, am I gonna get in trouble for like uploading this? Like, is this is this crossing a line somewhere? I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I feel super comfortable uploading it. It's, it's definitely different from my normal content. It's definitely a little bit more risque, but I think that it's fine. I don't, uh, I mean, you know, I play Killing Floor 2 with all the blood. Well, I guess I don't have blood on, really. Where's my blood? Does Kakiri Forest just not do blood very well, or am I, is my blood disabled, or? I don't know. Is my blood disabled? I should have my blood enabled. I want blood everywhere. Uh, I don't know how to turn it off or how to turn it on, so... <laughs> gore intensity. High core. Yeah, we're on high core. I guess uh, Kikuti Forest just doesn't doesn't do it so well. The one thing I did like about the, uh, the game, the one thing that really stood out to me was how excellent the settings menu was. I mean, there was a, there was a few like jokes in it that uh, that just didn't really work because of the, the translation. Um, I explained one of them, but there was there was a, a couple of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was it was it was it was a, it was a strange game, a strange a strange game. Definitely, it felt weird playing it. It's not what I uh, what I normally do, especially not on uh, on camera, you know. It was it was like uh, you know not something that you'd think you'd play with uh, with people watching, right? <laughs> it, was, it was I don't know. There was there was a weird sensation with it, so uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't quite enjoy it so much. But uh, I mean, I enjoy making the video, but the, the gameplay itself was um, utterly utterly like just I don't know reprehensible. <laughs> Not my, not my cup of tea, but, um, anyway, I'm recording this earlier, and, uh, it's working out pretty okay, I think. Having to mute myself less often, still a little bit, because I've still got, uh, I mean, that was a lot of talking, and the, uh, gotta clear my throat a little bit. But, it's, uh, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Not gonna get surrounded by you this time. Gotta go make lunch afterwards. I've been doing uh, so I eat like a big lunch and then I'll I'll, I'll either like skip dinner or have a small snack for dinner. Um, so I've been doing like an omelet with rice, not omelet rice, but like the two of them together, but not in the thing that makes the the actual like Japanese dish that is called omelet rice or like omu rice. Um, but I've been having them together, which has been pretty good. Because egg and rice go really well together, in my opinion. And in in a lot of people's opinion, it's it's, it's highly highly popular. It's not a very not a very controversial thing at all. A lot of people put like raw egg on their rice. That's a little bit strange to me. I haven't tried that before. I want it one day because I mean, I uh, I think the idea behind it is that it mostly cooks from the heat in the rice. Like you dump the you dump the raw egg into the rice and then you mix it up and the heat from the rice mostly cooks the egg is, is my understanding of it not super well but like you're not eating just the straight up raw egg um, my understanding is that it does get cooked a little bit because of the uh, the residual heat but uh, it would still be largely raw so I'm not uh, I'm unsure I've never had a raw egg before outside of like uh, you know cookie dough or something um, it's not like raw egg is bad for you as long as you're getting I mean, it depends on how you get it, but uh, if you go to a grocery store and you buy eggs from, like, the refrigerator, in, in most, like, first world countries, um, those eggs are going to be pasteurized and uh, safe to eat raw. Um, the real thing from, like, cookie dough that uh, gets people sick is actually the, uh, the flour, because there's uh, all kinds of stuff in the flour that you don't want to be eating. That's not the eggs. You're not getting salmonella from it. Don't take my word for that, but, uh, like, you, you can eat raw egg. It's, uh, it's really not that bad, as long as it's pasteurized. If you get, like, if you go to, like, uh, a farm and you pick up an egg from, uh, 
a chicken and you just you eat it there like that's that's not so good because it hasn't been pasteurized which is uh pasteurization is like maintaining it at a certain temperature to uh maintaining it at a certain temperature that the the bacteria and pathogens and all this can't thrive at okay this is this is extremely highly bad i thought i'd be able to make it around but i could not um and then uh the bacteria or pathogens or viruses or whatever it is i don't know like i'm, I'm a I'm a YouTuber, I'm not a biologist, okay? Um, they, uh, they, they can't survive, and then they die. Okay, we have to, uh, this is, this is, like, extremely, extremely bad. This is, this is highly, highly bad. Too many, too many things. Too many things. That's, that's, that's what, uh, that's what Hell on Earth is, though, right? It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't had raw egg before. I remember, uh, in elementary school or middle school, uh, we had a, a cooking class. We were in, like, home ec, and we had, uh, this one girl who was, like, super afraid of the eggs, right? Like, she really didn't want to get salmonella. She was, like, highly, highly afraid of the eggs. Like, you know, you can be concerned with, with getting diseases and, like, to a reasonable extent, but, like, it was... Even even past that, like it was, it was like a, a phobia of egg almost, you know. Um. So uh, one of these guys, I think his name was like, well, I'm not gonna say his name, but um, we'll call him we'll call him John. And uh, he uh, he just he he put an egg into like a glass, like right in front of her, and then just downed the egg. And it was it was the talk of the class for all. The teacher got really mad at him because uh, he's like, "You're gonna get salmonella from that," and he's like, "No, I'm not. It's fine." And uh, the teacher was like, "No, you are." But the the girl who was like had like a phobia of the eggs was just freaking out. I'm like, you know, I understand your point to like prove that it's it's fine to to eat an egg, but the other thing you gotta realize is that it doesn't happen immediately anyway, right? Like, you're not gonna drink an egg and then be like, "Oh God, I have salmon out!" Like, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna take you a while for it to, to happen. So like, you know, and then and then there, there's always the chance that that, you, that egg just didn't have salmon in it anyway. Like, you're not gonna get it from that, even if it wasn't pasteurized. So like, you're not you're not really doing anything for anybody. You're just scaring the the absolute crud out of this uh, this poor girl. But, uh, you know, we were 12, 13 or something like that at the time. Maybe even younger. And uh, I think we were making French toast and bacon or something. Yeah, they, they gave us, like, a proper kitchen to work. And it was nice, actually. Uh, I like that school. Okay. I love that they can just spawn enraged now. That's really, really cool. Really, really super cool that you can just spawn enraged. I don't know who decided that that was going to be a thing, but I'm very unhappy with that decision. God, he just got like a boost from something or something like that. Like another one, and you're also enraged. That was three flesh pounds enraged at the same time. Like, what on earth is happening? Nothing good. Holy cow. <laughs> spawn enraged, why don't you? Okay, this guy's also gonna get enraged. I think I saw another flesh pound. He's also gonna get enraged, but this one's this one's within region reason. Um Yeah, it was nice when we got to, to do that. I think that was What school would that have been in? Would that have been in elementary or would that have been middle? I didn't go to elementary school, I don't think. Did I go to elementary school? Yeah, I went to elementary school. I remember cause, uh, when I was growing up, I went to like a K-12 to until like grade 4 or something. Um, so, I guess that would have been elementary for two years? I would have done uh, 4 and 5. Because uh, 6 would have been middle at the time. I think it is still now. I don't know. In that school district, anyway. 
Is there something up top? No. So, uh... That would have been, I believe, middle school then? Or maybe elementary. Yeah, it would have been, I think it would have been grade 5. So it would have been elementary school. After, after, uh... After elementary school, I went to, uh... Middle school for a little while. Like a year. Then I did, uh, online schooling after that. And that, uh... Well, that went on till. I did. I did. Uh, I did online schooling for a bit, like a year, and uh, I think I did math ten. Got to like math eleven. My uh, my socials, my history stuff, all that stuff fell behind because I had just absolutely zero interest in it. Um, science, I think I fell behind in as well. Um, I did go back to high school at some point for like half of a year. Um, and I was in like a mixed grade kind of thing. I had like grade 11 math, grade 10 English. I think I had grade 9 science. Um, I think I had grade 10 or 11 psychology. Um, not sure. But uh, I went to that for like half a year and I got... Well, I got that. That's around the time when uh, a lot of the whole like... A lot a lot of stuff kind of happened around there. Maybe, maybe another day for, for that story. But uh, I ended up quitting school. And uh, focusing on my uh, my job at the time, and then also just like doing nothing, um, mostly nothing. And uh, I think it's worked out pretty well for me, especially if this YouTube thing works out, because uh, then it'll be pretty sweet. But you know, we'll see. We'll see when that gets there, right? <laughs> I've been uh, I've been thinking about going back to school for for like a GED kind of thing, get the uh, just to to kind of see how well I can do and, and see if I can have a high school education at least, like prove that I have a high school education, but I'm not even sure if I'd be able to pass it because, uh, you know, in some areas I have, like, a lot of, you know, knowledge and, and prowess and, and ability, um, and then in other areas I just, I really, I don't, like, I still don't know a lot of history, honestly, um, like, I live in Canada, I don't even know the last, like, like, a name the last two prime ministers and then after that I'm like I don't know I have, I have absolutely no idea and those are even people that were like <laughs> when I was alive I think right yeah definitely um, so it's, uh, it's it's particularly uh, noteworthy but um, it's a lot of history that I don't know and I think that would probably be on the the test the GED thing um, a lot of math that I don't know like I can if you, if you sit me down in front of a computer and you give me like a thing and you're like, hey, I need you to solve this problem, I'll get you the answer. Like, for almost for any for almost anything, I can get you the answer and I can tell you exactly how it works, right? Because Google is really, really great for that. Um, and like, I'm not dumb, I'm just not educated. Um, so, uh, I'd, be able to, I'd be able to get you the answer, so I might be able to make it, but then you, you don't get to use Google for that kind of stuff, so I'd have to prove that I actually know it and I don't know it. I have a lot of symbols I just don't know, even though I would know, like, the words for it because I use it for programming. Um, and then, like, science, like, biology, pfft, I know nothing about biology. Like, genuinely, people are like, oh, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I'm like, I don't know what a mitochondria is. I, I genuinely know nothing. Um, cause I, said, I never found it interesting. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that I don't know, and then a lot of stuff that I do know, but I don't know how well I do. I've been thinking about it, because I do want to go to, uh, to college to learn some languages, because that seems like fun. But it's a big, uh, it's a big, it's a big ask. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.